Hello friends, welcome to the learning platform Aviation Life. In this video, we will learn how the airspeed indicator works. Airspeed indicator is one of the basic flying instruments of the aircraft. The airspeed indicator is a crucial instrument found on all aircraft that helps pilot determine the speed at which they are traveling through the air. The ASI is a critical instrument during takeoff and landing where precise airspeed control is necessary and during flight planning where it helps pilot to determine fuel consumption and estimated arrival time. ASI, VVI and altimeter, they all take pressure readings from pitot tube and static tube. So we need to know the function of pitot tube and static tube. This is the pictorial depiction of pitot tube and static port on fuselage of the aircraft. Usually the pitot tubes are installed on the frontal portion of the aircraft where they receive maximum airflow without any hindrance. In some of the aircraft it is installed on the wing platform as well. Before we move further, we need to know what is the purpose of pitot and static port and what type of pressures they measure. Static port is installed on both sides of fuselage and it measures the static pressure of air. In simple words, static pressure is the atmospheric pressure of air. Dynamic pressure is the pressure of air when an object moves through the air. It is directly proportional to air speed and density. Pitot tube gives you the total pressure, which is the sum of static and dynamic pressure. It is also known as pitot pressure. If we subtract static pressure from total pressure, we will get dynamic pressure. ASI is the only flight instrument which receives information from both pitot tube and static tube. Then it measures the dynamic pressure to determine the speed of the aircraft. For better understanding, let's say the aircraft is moving at 80 knots. It has less dynamic pressure as compared to the aircraft which is flying at 120 knots. This is the pictorial depiction of inside of airspeed indicator. The cylinder is filled with static pressure coming through the static port. When the aircraft moves, total pressure is filled in the diaphragm through pitot tube depending upon the speed of the aircraft. The diaphragm expands against the static pressure inside the cylinder. The movement of diaphragm is connected with the needle of airspeed indicator. If the dynamic pressure increases, that means aircraft is moving faster, so ASI will show increase in speed. Similarly, if dynamic pressure decreases, the ASI needle will unwind and speed will decrease. The speed which ASI will depict is called indicated airspeed. Knots is the unit in which aircraft speed is measured. Knots mean a nautical mile per hour and one nautical mile is equal to 1.852 km. The dial of ASI is marked in different color coding like white arc, blue line, green and yellow arc and the red line. White arc indicates the flap operating range. Blue line depicts the best rate of climb speed. Green arc is the normal operating range of the aircraft. Yellow arc is the caution range and structural warning area. Whereas red line depicts never exceed speed of the aircraft. There are different other types of speeds like calibrated airspeed, equivalent airspeed, true airspeed and ground speed. What is the difference in all of them? That we will discuss in our next video along with different errors of ASI. 
If you like our efforts, don't forget to subscribe and share. And press the bell icon for notification update. Thank you.